to sleep, Becca. Solid four hours. It's a cold night. But we're back on the road, heading towards uh, Veek. Okay. Gonna hit up some waterfalls. The weather is surprisingly nice. Really out. pretty out today. <laughs> Stations are still closed. Places don't open until noon on Sundays. Fun fact: you need a pin to get gas for a credit so card. Make Horses. sure when you go. Make sure if you ever come to Iceland to either get a credit card with a pin or make sure you use your debit card. I think you can use a debit card, but we're just gonna get prepaid gas cards. Use that. All right, made it to our first waterfall. The audio is probably gonna suck on this. I had to take the dead cat off and whatnot because we're gonna go behind that. So, don't wanna ruin the new GoPro or microphone or anything like that. So, this is Cellulans Foss. And then uh, we're gonna go to another one. I can't, I can't even start to pronounce the name. You ready? Are you ready? Okay, it's a bit wet and a bit cold. Okay, off to the next one. That's pretty cool. It's a little wet. A little cold. Okay. I can't even begin to pronounce this. Glu glufer glufer bro? Glufer bro? We got 3% battery, but we made it to the second waterfall. What? Made it to uh, Skoga Foss. Didn't get any videos or anything of us on our way, but whatever. And we still don't have the microphone attached because it's gonna get wet. So, gearing up. <clears throat> it's sunny out. It's actually warm, which is weird. It's like 60, maybe 70 in the sun. But we're going way over there. You ready? Yep. <laughs> for a shuttle ride so I would probably say it's four hours too if it was twenty dollars a piece in what an hour round trip for four miles at our pace we'll be fine we made it get some photos
you ever go to the abandoned plane wreck, come early in the morning when no one is there because it is ridiculous how many people are there. And they're all rude. They all just get in everybody's shot. So a lot of Photoshop. Hopefully these pictures turn out decent. Also, don't rent like uh, they do shuttle buses. It's $20 a person. Uh, they claim it's a four hour round trip hike. It's not. It, we did it in two and a half hours. Uh, yeah, as long as you're an able-bodied person, it's not worth the money, just hike it. It's good for you. But now we're off to I Dryler. I'll put a name in the bottom. Maybe see some puffins there. Hopefully. I don't know if they're still there. The season's uh, towards the end and they migrate, so. Also, you gotta pay to use the bathroom at like 90% of these places. So, if you see a bathroom that's free, use it, regardless. All right, we made it to this place. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Not even gonna try. But, it's pretty sweet. It's got a lighthouse. But... A little off-road trail to get up here. <clears throat> I think that might be the Faroe Islands over there. You can kind of see them. But so far, pretty successful day. Made it to our second camp for the week. Scatafo, Scatafo. Oh, to be honest, we're all set up. Finally got some stuff so that we can cook our food on our own. Here's our dinner, and for dessert, Oreos. Single stuffed Oreos. She's boiling. <laughs> 